Hey YouTube, just want to do a quick update on the Goral tank. This is supposedly uh, my B9 tank, but I did have to move some of the Islavans in here. If you remember, I moved a total of 13 of them in here, and with along with the B9s, I always had um, my pink convict in here. And then I did uh, recently moved. Um, my T-Bar, he's over here in the back, but he's also in here. Um, everyone is alive and well. Uh, some of the Islamists have taken on good size too. So right here, here's one of the bigger guys. Um, and I think that guy in the back over here, if I can get it to focus, he's probably the biggest of the pack. Um, and he's almost um, caught up to the smallest bee knight in the tank. And um, the bee knights, I've got them around an inch about six months ago. So, um, yeah, these Islams, they're just growing up at a much faster pace than the, the bee knights are. But um, slowly, slowly they're picking up size, which is great. Um, some of these uh, be nice um, have better colorations than others, at least as of right now. Um, and my biggest one is right here. Again, I, at this moment, I can't tell if it's a male or a female. Um, but he's he's the biggest guy. Um, I don't know. I heard they're really uh, supposed to be really mean, but they haven't shown it so um when i first put the islatums in here they were considerably smaller than how they are right now and, and i'd say there's no aggressions toward them hardly any aggressions against each other um there was a little competition between um my big um b knight along with the pink convict for a little bit but Nothing serious, if you can see, most of the fishes are in, in um, great shape. Um, one of the B9 does have a split tail, um, but he's getting uh, quite better right here, this, this fell. And uh, again with the growing s slow growth, I think they heal quite slow too, because I believe that was when I first moved them in here with a divider with the bigger S bottom. And I believe this is the fellow that went to the other side. Oh, he's hiding now. But he's the one that went to the other side of the tank. And um, kind of got picked off by uh, the bigger S bottom pair. Uh, fortunately, he made it. One of his siblings did not. Um, so there's seven uh, B9s in here, and then I have um, 13 of the uh, uh, grow out Islatums in here, the pink convict, one T-bar, and um, also a pair of the bristlenose pluckles. So the pair in here is the one that's been breeding um, relatively nonstop. This is technically their um, six six um, batch in six months. So um, yeah, they're they're active breeders. <laughs> I didn't have any space to put the last batch, so I didn't even pull them. But um, yeah, that's that's kind of how it is. But um, yeah, so I don't think any of those fries made it especially with um the amount of uh, grouts there are in the in the 75 but um the goal is just to grow a pair in here a pair of the b knives and then um probably move out everyone else and uh, i'm still debating whether i'm gonna move these guys into the 125 or um 
keep the 125 as a community. But um, we'll see when the pair forms. See how aggressive they are and I guess depending on their size too. If I do just do the pair, um, these guys, the be nice will go into the 125 and I'll probably move out um, the community fishes and bring the Islam pair that I'd like to keep into um, this tank. And then everyone else would obviously have to move out too. But yeah, that's gonna be the plan moving forward. But yeah, just wanted to show how everyone is doing in here. So far, um, so good and Let's keep it that way. Alright. Till next time, guys. Checking out.